Hello, hello, it's Simone and I wanted to do a little Christmas haul because um, this year I had a budget and I was able to spend the money as I wanted and so I bought a lot of scrappy things that I usually never buy just like this. So. Um, I'll show you this last because this was a, it's a handmade gift from my friend Katharina, but um, I got a craft heat tool, embossing tool, and together with that I also got an embossing ink pad and three different embossing powders, white, clear, and black. And I hope this is a good um, start package to try and see if I like heat embossing and the heat tool is also um, great for mixed media stuff and if you hear my kids in the background they are playing Monopoly and yeah it's Christmas winter break and so if I want to film a live video without voicing over you will hear my kids and there's another video that I have planned so this is not something that will only happen today. So this this is the first thing I got. And then, um, yeah, I could not resist these. And I got them on Amazon and they were, were really cheap. I would have loved to support a smaller um, store, but um, yeah, my budget was not that big. So, so I got this as a three pack for about 15 um, US dollars and these I tried them out and they are these are the colors this is the first set then this one and then these so yeah it's a great variety of colors um, the downside to these is I have tried them in my uh, Midori it's a insert that was made by what is her name? Kathy, and she used I think she used regular printer paper, but it's maybe it's like uh, 90 grams or something. It's not. Um, it's very sturdy. You can see that, and it doesn't ink from um, stamping. It does not. There's only shadows, not um, no seeping through, but. They actually show through and it's just it's a light stroke and you can actually see that they here that they just come through and there's a word for it but I have forgotten so that's a pity I can't use them in here I haven't tried them in the Coco Daisy inserts but I will do I am going to make a pen test for the mild learners to see where they actually work so yeah here this is the coco daisy notepad paper and you can see there's a slight ghosting on the darker colors but there's nothing not it's really the the paper quality is really nice so i have these three and then oh i also forgot there's one thing that i got that i haven't here but i will go and get it and then because my other paper cutters drove me crazy I was never able to cut a straight line with them, so I took some money and invested into this um, guillotine trimmer. I have heard lots of good things. I wasn't really sure whether I should go and get the the green one. What is it called? There is... I don't know. It doesn't matter because I got this one. I got this one because um, I have heard a lot of good things about it. It's very lightweight and yeah, it cuts straight and it has a 12 by 12 grid which, which was important to me. Uh, the only down, well it has, it has an inch grid and a centimeter grid so that actually also works really well. Yeah, and then... And then I also got this beauty. It's the Foxy Fix number six compact 
in Wanderlust Butterscotch with brown elastics um, with no stitching, no pockets, nothing. Compact means it has four strands of elastic and it fits I think up to six notebooks. I'm not sure. I will only use three and I'm going to set it up um, like later today uh, on camera um, watch out for the video it will be up in the next couple of days and yeah so I got this for Christmas as well <clears throat> and then let's put this aside I'm going to show you this gift I got it from my friend Katharina from Germany she sent it over and it was handmade it's like a notepad holder and she included it has um, these pockets here and she included two calligraphy fountain pens this one is the two nip sizes it's this says 1.5 and this says 1.1 I haven't tried them out yet but I'm going to she also included this awesome journal and it is no it doesn't say but um, the paper is looks like sketch paper so it's very thick and sturdy as well so I can't wait to use this for some art journaling or something and then she included this awesome sticker sheet and there is some really nice stickers on there and then it has this awesome zipper pocket and this has this is these are fountain pen inks and this is a dark green and two blue ones so I'm really looking forward to using these can't wait and yeah so that was my little Christmas haul um, yeah tell me what you got did you get any scrappy things did you do as I did and just bought them yourself the best thing I could have I could do was I actually did not start using them when they arrived at my house I wrapped them up and put them under the tree and it was really really great to have something under the tree waiting for me and it was exciting even though I knew what was in the packages okay I'll talk to you next time see you then bye